Hi there, YouTube. Today I'm going to be doing a three power cycle review of the Traxxas X Max. So, what I mean by that is I have charged the batteries and run this truck three times. And I'm basically going to discuss what I've broken, um, how it's performed, things of that nature. Overall, the performance of this thing is just massive. Um, it's 8S. It produces a ton of power, but I have had a few issues. Um, my second power-up, uh, I operated in my driveway for a little bit, and my second power-up, whenever I uh, took it to the new area to drive in, the remote to the radio had the throttle assigned in forward as reverse and the reverse as forward. Somehow that changed itself. I'm not exactly sure how. Um, but, uh, so what I did is I did a, uh, found a YouTube video on how to swap that around and that solved the issue. However, it did cause a new issue. Um, I only had full throttle and in either direction. I did not have any, um, slow speed or wasn't capable of doing that, but I was in a large area and it honestly didn't matter at the time. Um, but what I ended up needing to do was recalibrate the ESE through Traxxas's process. Um, however, shortly after um, I got to that first run, this is the first power cycle to be advised, the steering servo uh, stripped. And I'll show you what it was doing. So as you can see, it's slightly turned to the right right now. And I'll power it up. And the wheels go hard over to the left. I can apply some right power, but as of right now where it sits, it is kind of, it's still going left some, it's not even going straight. And uh, what ha I have done to fix this problem, I've done it twice now, is take the front end off, and I then took the steering horn, the servo horn, recentered the servo, and put the servo horn back in place. And the first time I did it, I got around 10, 15 minutes of run time. And as soon as I put it in something rough, I had the exact same issue. Uh, the servo horn does not appear to have any strip gears on it, but uh, that got me back in the centered position. Now, uh, so I did it again and it did not take anywhere near as long for it to happen. So more than likely, the servo gears are stripped. They actually use plastic gears inside the servo on these trucks. So I'm gonna kind of give you a kind of look around here. The servo horn is right here. Now, whenever I move it myself, I cannot find a rough spot. So I'm imagining what's happening is, is happening is the, the gears in the servo probably aren't completely stripped. Um, even though they don't feel really rough right here, it's, there's a lot of moving parts inside of it. That's probably why I can't quite feel it. So I'm about to pull the servo out and uh, find out. But Traxxas is going ahead and sending me a brand new horn and they're also sending me a new gear set for the servo. And that's gonna take about a week to get here. And I went ahead and ordered a metal gear set like would come in the upgraded version the, of the servo, the Traxxas 2085X. It comes with all metal gearing. Um, I also purchased the Traxxas charger uh, with the Traxxas 6700. 4 amp or 4S lipos. This truck is 8S overall. Um, and besides the issues that I had with the servo, this thing is a monster. It's just an absolute beast. Uh, I flipped this thing over on asphalt a couple times and just checked that out. Really no scratches at all, except for in this plastic here. But paint wise and the shiny stuff, Still looks great, and I'm talking just rolling this thing on asphalt. It, it uh, has mass amounts of torque and power, and I have not even changed out to the upgraded uh, spur gear. This is the 46 tooth, I believe it comes with. In factory, it comes with a 54 tooth. There we go. And uh, what it does is it makes this thing a little bit faster. Um, you're gonna lose a little bit of torque in the process of that, but it may not necessarily be a bad thing because this truck is just constantly on its back wheels. I mean, it is nonstop 
riding wheelies all the way up to every bit of 40 miles an hour. It's a ton of fun and it is very intimidating in a small space. You definitely need a lot of space to play with this truck. But the suspension is great, especially for stock. Um, you can drop this thing from a pretty good amount of height and it will not bottom out. It didn't then. It uh, absorbs everything quite well. It also has a uh, Traxxas stability control. That's this knob right here. The center point is kind of the median area and all the way to the end, there's no control. And it really helps uh, by applying and steering smartly to keep the truck on track and uh, just overall maintain control when it gets going, when, you, when you're hitting bumps and this thing's bouncing all over the place. It, uh, it so far is a great truck. Whenever you buy something like this, you should expect things to break often. And uh, I went into this expecting that. And every single review of this truck says the first thing you should do is upgrade the servo. The servo has got a lot of torque, but the plastic gearing is definitely the weak point. Once I put the gears in, my servo horn is definitely going to be, be the weak point. But overall, the Traxxas X-Max is a beast of a truck, and I would definitely recommend it. I'm going to put some affiliate links below to uh, the X-Max and maybe a few accessories. And I uh, hope you guys like this video. Please like and subscribe.